Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I asked you guys on Instagram, I was sharing a lot of new things I was buying on Amazon and Ulta. So I asked you guys if you wanted to see what I have bought lately, kind of a haul with like an Ulta Amazon combo, and you guys said yes. So that is what we will be doing today. So if you guys are not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below on YouTube. And if you'd like to see some things that I have bought lately, some recent favorites, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. So I wasn't really planning on filming anything before I leave for Maine in a few days, but I figured this would be a quick, easy video for you guys. You guys really liked the last time I did a What I Bought at Ulta Lately video, so I figured I'd just fuse it because I finally signed up for Amazon Prime. I know, where have I been for like the past 10 years? But I have an Amazon Prime account, so I bought some new things on Amazon too. So I will have everything linked down below on YouTube where you guys can buy this stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to share some of my recent favorites. Some are going to be regular things I buy regularly and kind of let you in on some of my little secrets. So let's jump right into it. So I have a lot of staple beauty items that I always get from Ulta, so I'm just going to share them with you guys real quick. You've probably heard about some of them before in my videos. Some of them are a little bit newer that I've liked, um, so we'll jump right into that. I have a couple staples from Benefit. I always use the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 5 to fill in my brows. It is basically a dupe for the Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz Pencil. I find that I like this formula a little bit more, and I just... I've been using these religiously for probably a year now, and it is my absolute favorite brow pencil. You guys have probably seen in my past videos that I am also obsessed with the Hoola Contour Stick. I love using it on myself. I use it on all of my clients when I do makeup for weddings. It is so effortless and easy. I will link the video down below if you guys have not watched it yet. You can literally contour your whole face in five minutes. It blends out like a dream. It's basically contouring for dummies in a stick. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out, and I am obsessed with this. I buy it constantly. I go through it so much because I use it on everyone. Now I saw a bunch of reviews for this mascara online and I jumped on it and I have fallen in love with it myself, so they were all true, but it is the new uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's basically a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I feel like the Better Than Sex Mascara can almost get dry and flake a little bit more than this. I did get the waterproof kind just because I like to have something budge proof locked and loaded. This is like my third two of this so far, I think. I've really been really pleasantly surprised with it. I really like it a lot. So yeah, if you haven't tried this, this is a good drugstore alternative mascara to try out. Now y'all know I love my lashes, and I'm going to show you a couple different lashes in this video actually, but this is my Ride or Die all-time faves. I link them in every video. It's what I'm always wearing. These are the 113s from Ardell. They are basically the original Wispies, just a little bit longer. So if you like to be a little bit extra like me, you will love these. The Wispies are a little bit shorter, and the Demi Wispies are the more tapered, smaller at the front, uh, longer at the ends, so they give more of a cat eye effect, but 113s are my ride or die babies. I've shared it in other videos before, but I am obsessed with Argan Oil. I get the Shea Moisture one. I use this on my skin day and night. I mix a drop of it in my moisturizer before my makeup. I put a full pump of it all over my face at night before bed. You can also use this on your hair and your body. I am obsessed with Argan Oil. I love that it is so moisturizing and youthful for the skin. It is definitely something to try to incorporate into your routine. If you need a little more moisture, I swear by this shit. Now this is like the bougiest lash tool ever. I bought it just because I was like, oh my god, how fancy and bougie would I look doing bridal clients with this. But it is this gold tart lash applicator tool. I bought an extra because they were on sale, um, but I used it on all my clients and every single person is always like, ooh. What is that? It's literally just like the bougiest way to step up your freelance makeup game or even your own makeup game. Use this to put on your own lashes. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. These are some newer things I'm trying out. I'm obsessed with using something really heavy and conditioning on my lips at night. I literally can't go to bed without coating them in something. So I picked up this H2O Beauty Oasis Smooth Lip Conditioner. It has like a weird slight grit to it, but once it's down, it's um, it's natural beeswax. So it's really gentle. Um, I like that it's not super sticky sticky feeling. It's a little bit more smooth. I've been using this at night and I've also kind of been using it during the day because it's not as heavy as some of the other ones. So this is something I've been liking lately too. I decided to try the new Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. If you love setting sprays and you love moisture, you will love this. I spray this all over my face when I'm done with my makeup. It has coconut water in it. It smells amazing. I absolutely love this stuff. I like something that's going to moisturize my skin throughout the day when I mist it on. It's going to help powder sit better. 
I've been absolutely obsessed with this stuff since I got it. So if you guys haven't tried it, definitely try it out, especially if you liked the Hangover Primer. Now, this last thing I got from Tarte, I thought I was like the most clever person in the world. I was like, girl, you don't even know what I just discovered. They made the Amazonian Clay Clay Pots in a rose gold color, which they are waterproof gel liner pots. But I want to show you the rose gold. I wore them on my eyelids in the last video. Like, are you kidding me? Look at that. And it's waterproof. So like, bridal, hello. I even told one of the girls, I was like, I'm going to highlight with this shit. <laughs> I don't know if I would, but like, it is so beautiful. You could use this as a base for something loose or something powder. You could even leave it like this for kind of that metallic wet effect. I died when I saw this. It was the last one, and so I snatched it up real quick. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I can't even tell you. When Ulta has their leader sale, I always stock up on my shampoo and conditioner because myself being the only one using it, it will last me a solid six months, which is how often the leader sales happen. So I can buy a leader twice a year and it'll literally last me the whole time. Love the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo. It smells like peaches. It is just the best. I've been using this for over a year now and I swear by it. I have very long hair and since I ombre it now, it's very dry and kind of damaged. Um, so I need a conditioner that's going to be really heavy or else I actually can't even comb through my hair. It gets so tingly from all the damage. So I need a very thick, very intensive conditioner. So if you are looking for something like that, I have done a lot of trial and error that a lot did not condition me enough. And I have found one that I am really loving. Someone gave me this recommendation to try the Bedhead TG Urban Antidotes Damage Level 3 Resurrection Conditioner. It's very thick. It smells like candy. It is very deep conditioning. I can feel it before I even rinsed out in the shower that my hair is already back to being soft and nice. So if you have not tried this, this is amazing. I highly recommend it for anyone like me who has a lot of damage going on and bleach and damage to their hair. It's really going to work wonders for you. Now I had a client that had lashes on. I was doing her brows and she, her lashes just looked awesome. I literally, I never ask people because usually I'm like, oh, I already know everything. But I literally was like, girl, what lashes do you have on? Because your lashes look amazing. I have them on right now. I ordered them on Amazon because after I saw hers, they just looked so natural. Like it killed me. So the lashes I'm talking about are the Kiss 11s. I was able to snag this five pack on Amazon and I will say they're very similar to the Demi Wispies from Ardell just a little bit nicer, a little bit more, like the longest wispy little pieces just go a little bit longer and I feel like they're a little bit curlier than the Demi Wispies. I'm wearing them today and I feel like this is going to be like my new natural, to some people this won't be natural, but for me, I feel like like in Maine when I'm gonna be like going to a Canadian National Park and like hiking and stuff, I can put these on. I have barely any eyeshadow on except for some hula in my crease. I have no eyeliner and they just look like lash extensions basically. Perfect for early mornings when I have wedding groups that I'm doing just to throw these on and I really don't have to do much else with my eyes at all and it still looks pulled together. They're so light. I kind of love these and I feel like I'm going to make this like a regular purchase now because on days off when I'm not really doing much but just running around and I just want to look a little pulled together I can just throw these lashes on and it just looks like lash extensions which is awesome. If you guys are into reading and books you may want to check some of these out. Uh, first of all my girl Kara you know I love Kara Alwaleba. She finally got picked up by a publisher which I feel like has been such a long time coming she so deserves it um, but she got picked up by Penguin so they relaunched Girl Code. It is a new version there's a new intro. There's new interviews inside. Shirley Manson from Garbage is one of the new interviews, which is amazing. I'm so proud of Kara. If you don't follow her social media, some of you watching my videos have probably found me in her Slay Baby group because I was on her podcast talking about my book Sober as F***. If you want like daily female inspiration, follow her on everything. She's amazing. Her group on Facebook, the Slay Baby Collective, is awesome. But I snagged the re-release of Girl Code because it is an amazing book. It's all about successful, happy entrepreneurs and how to get there. So if you are a girl like that, you love that female empowerment stuff, you will love this book. This book I saw a friend of mine was reading and I was really intrigued and I'm, I'm a little into it already and so far I really like it. It's called The Well Life. It's from uh, two doctors have written it and 
Foods. It is just a really cool book about balancing your life, um, your work, your happiness, and just basically how to create like a balanced, peaceful, happy lifestyle. So I've really been loving The Well Life. I'm almost using it kind of as like a research tool for what I am working on for my second book, which I am currently writing and hoping to have out this fall-ish. We'll see. This book is really great if you're looking to do a little bit of self-work, a little bit of motivation, a little bit of self-care, looking to just better your life in general. This is a really good book to get into. Last but not least, I got this book the other day and I'm so excited to start it. I've seen her a lot in Kara's Slay Baby Collective group on Facebook and on the Skinny Confidential group on Facebook. Um, this is from Catherine and I'm probably going to say this wrong, but it's Zenkina. And this is the Unlace Your Inner Money Babe workbook. It says, up-level your money mindset and manifest $1,000 in 21 days. Now, are you going to read this book and $1,000 is going to fall into your hands? No, <laughs> but it would be cool if that happened. It's basically this workbook where it's going to talk about the way you think about money, the way you're living, the way you're working, and it's it has you answer questions. It's very motivational. It's just basically to like change your mind frame and she is just a very inspiring girl to love her. So I'm really excited to check this out. I've heard amazing things about it, all her social media. She's got like hundreds of five-star reviews on this. So I'm excited to try this baby out. I'll probably be starting this on the flight to Maine next week and chilling in my cabin checking this out too because I'm really excited for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Like I said, I will have everything linked down below where you can find it. I wanted to get something up low-key, short, and sweet for you guys before I leave for my trip next week. I'm so excited to go to Maine. I'm going to vlog a little bit. I do want to make sure I'm not on my phone the entire time filming and I really want to enjoy it because I can't wait for this trip. Anyways, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already so you do not miss anything else. Make sure you guys are following me on all my other social media because I post a ton of crap constantly. Leave me some comments comments down below if you guys are buying any of these items, if you've tried any of them, and let me know your thoughts. I will have my face on the screen here per usual. If you click it, you'll be subscribed, and I will also have some other videos for you guys to check out. But I think that is all I have to say right now. So until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.